Hey everyone, FPS Chazel here. Welcome back to Land Attack. I'm not if that's what if that's not what the mission's called. I'm sorry, but I'm doing this bulk recording session. Uh, this is going to be a busy week this week, so kind of want to just get this all out of the way. I think I'm going to do four episodes of Subcommand this week, just because I haven't started up my second, I haven't got my second LP started yet. But uh, uh, it should be a good one. It's based on a book, a video game based on a book. So uh, if I remember to pop a picture in right here. There you go. If you know what video game is based on this book, that's what the next LP is going to be. So, very good with it. But that is then. This is now. We got ourselves a potential kilo here. Being very quiet. Just making turns for steerage here, basically. I'm like just about assured that this is a kilo here. Um, but I want to make sure before I launch on it. I guess one way to find out if it isn't a kilo is you could launch on it, and then if it doesn't up it or juice it, then it might be a civilian because it doesn't have a sonar to listen for torpedoes. <laughs> I don't know. I just, something about it just makes me want to be sure. But he could potentially... This is most likely approximately what he's doing. He could be slightly changing course or something. I don't think he's heading the other way. So, uh, yeah, we're slowly but surely heading for this guy. I'm, have to just turn right for him in an effort to try and see if I can't hear better, hear him any better. But uh, this is our state of affairs right now. This is what we're going for. Steady on course. Three, two, going seven, for it. Trying to keep him on the toe just because you know, it's the more sensitive array right meow. Not seeing anything on that third line. I just don't want him to get any potential whiffs of me first. I'm just not seeing any kind of... Okay, the... he's really starting to up there get up there in the signal strength. Not seeing anything on the third line yet. What do we got here? Fishing boat still. I mean, it could be anything. Still not seeing any sign of a third frequency there, which is what I really want to see. We're getting so very close. Uh, I think I should just launch. I think I should just launch. If it was a fishing boat, it would not be this quiet, this close. Oh, what's going on here? What is going on here? He may have uh, changed course a little bit here or something. I'm not sure. Not sure what I'm seeing here. This is very interesting. Let me... uh. Don't really want to necessarily head away from him. Or switch it back that way. Just, uh, just all involves getting so close. I think I'm just gonna shoot on him right now. <laughs> uh, set that RTE down to 6,000 yards. Tube one, it's flooded. Open the door. Let's go ahead and just launch on him here. Shoot first, ask questions later. America hashtag all that stuff. Hash brown. Let's go ahead and fire here. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. My gut is just telling me submarine. If this is a fishing boat, it would be so noisy this close in. Uh, is he still doing one knot? Yeah. Well, what could one knot be fitting right now? Not much, unless maybe he turned around. I don't know. Let's see what that gives us if he potentially turned around. I mean, ugh, it could be anything right now. Just it could just be so much. He he's okay. 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 Look at this. I think I got the potentially the range is a little incorrect. Maybe. Maybe a little more like that. Point being, he's basically there. There's not much variation to the solution, assuming he has been going a constant course, which this is very uh, suggestive of. But let's go ahead and uh, fire. Launch tube one, I sir. Launch tube one, I sir. Very good. Torp coming his way already. He should probably be kicking it up into high gear very shortly here. <laughs> very shortly indeed. 20 minute interval is probably good enough for this. Yeah, you want to make sure you don't keep it on too long of an interval because it's going to mess up what you think you're seeing in the data. It's going to make you think you should be seeing other stuff than what you're really seeing. It's just about that. I mean, it's all been like, you know, like plus or minus half a nautical mile. All right, what's he doing? All right, uh, he has just kicked it up. 
or something has just kicked it up 10,000 yards. 10,000 yards. Jeez, was I really that off on the range? Seems like it. <laughs> Alrighty, that looks like to be where he actually was the whole time. But it looks like he is juicing it up. Oh yeah, big time. Oh yeah, big turns. Big turns. He's uh, getting out of here at 10,000 yards. Okay, very good. So this is going to enable a tad early, but that'll be fine. It's not too big a deal. I did start my audio, didn't I? Yes, I did. Good. Just making sure I got my audio recording going. That would be kind of annoying if I did not have that going. All right. What do we got? It was kicking it. So it looks like he's probably turning around this way and then heading back the other way just because it's kicking out further that bearing way. So it looks like he turned around that way and he's going back out that way. Here, a countermeasure here. Da, 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 da. Range. It's gotten us slightly lower. I think he's in the process of turning around still. But it should be opening up here soon. The torp is uh, getting out to him there. And uh, yeah, gap is opening now. Uh, he is at top speed of 17 knots. <laughs> very slow. I'm going very slow, my friend. All right, zoom out, wowzers. Okay, uh, 10 minute history, please. There's a lot to work with. 10,000 yards ish. Something like that, probably. Classified contact, uh, kilo, high, threat. Haven't assured that yet, but there's that 360 right there. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 340. It's, uh, duh. Sorry, 340 is what I'm looking for on the kilo, not 360. <laughs> Already, yeah, ten, uh, three, two, okay. Yeah, this all seems to be good. This is going to be enabling soon. I want to make sure I pre-enable it. I don't. It's not just ready yet to be enabled, but it's going to enable. Uh, pre-enable, you're fine for now. He's still uh, gaining some distance on us here. Okay, I think I'm seeing the range to a countermeasure stationary that would explain that but no he's still out there he's still running that way still running 17 knots our torp is uh is indeed catching up could probably go ahead and enable it soon maybe wait till it gets on the other side of that countermeasure potentially let's see when is it gonna get on the other side of that countermeasure i don't want to wait too long but i think we're just it's just about reached the countermeasure Okay, he's at 12,000 or so. so. That's what the solution says. Very good. Okay. Our torp is just on the other side. Okay, he's now on the other side. Let's go ahead and enable on the other side of that countermeasure. And it looks like we got ourselves a lock here. Very good. We go ahead and turn north. Come right to course three, five, eight. Go back to five knots. That seems to be a good call there. Trying to. And then I think once we get him, we can go up, and I'm going to try and make sure I get some uh, some data for this, some intersection data, his EO2s or whatever. There you go. Ping, pow, boom. Man, after our last mission and those last few videos of uh, just me playing like Subcommand in Dangerous Waters, we are being quite efficient, but these enemies are being quite easy. All right, let's go up to periscope depth here. Uh, set depth for periscope depth. I'm gonna try and get some uh, some data here. Got some uh, some clears in the water here, or uh, not clears in the water. Got our, you know, uh, what do I usually call it? I don't even remember at this point. <laughs> I don't even remember what I usually call it. We got uh, the clutter. Was the clutter surface clutter? Reverberations? I don't know. I don't remember. I'm drawing a blank right now for some reason. Alrighty, we are up there. It is night. Not exactly yet night, but in close. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, ooh. Some of that data from EO2 may be missing at this point. Yeah, it's going to be gone. We can only go so far back on the... So far back on the history on the TMA. Shit. Alright, well, that's, that shouldn't be too big of a problem. Uh, before I do that... I'm not going to be able to keep track of that in any reliable way. Here, I go back here. But we are getting some separation on them. So I'll go ahead and mark that as well. 
EO1. Let's see if that EO1 lines up there. Um, uh, I can't tell if it's lining up because it's a. Uh, is that the solution? Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 actually yeah, it's lining up pretty good. Pretty good actually. So yeah, keep that. That seems to be good. What did I just displace that by? Oh, about oh uh, well. Now no more than a hundred or two hundred yards or so. So yeah. That seems to be a pretty good spot for that. So we got those two marks on those guys. So let's just go ahead and uh, secure from this. Over that, let's go ahead and just raise this up real quickly. Radio, let's go ahead and take a little short little quick peek on the periscope. See if there's nothing around. See if there's anything around. We've been taking out some uh, submarines. Pretty good here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yep, looking pretty clear. All right, visual lower. Nothing on this. Lower the antenna. Very well. All right, eye. take her back down and let's uh, continue on as planned. Make my depth five zero. We are ever zero, so eight, close to the launch five, basket, five. and uh, once again, I'll meet you back when something interesting happens. Uh, well, something interesting is happening right now. I'm angled down, but I'm not changing depth. Okay, that's kind of weird. Can you go Make down, please? Five. Zero, there you zero go. Feet. Okay, that Bye -bye. was weird. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. <laughs> okay, well, we just seem to be stuck in like a down position like this now. I don't know what's here. Let me uh try something like this. Make my depth four, nine, zero <laughs> okay, I don't know what's going on. We're just like stuck in this position now. This is very weird. Well, I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. Thankfully, this isn't really that shallow of water. Oh, yeah. Buggy, buggy. All right, we're going back up to periscope depth. This uh, angle here stuck like this is going to make for an interesting time up at periscope depth. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be able to use my sensors or if my tail is going to be sticking out of the water here. We're going to see what's going to happen. This should be interesting, to say the least. Hopefully, we're eh, still stuck like that, are we? Eh, very good. Okay. Not sure. Let's see what happens. Raise the ESM mass, chief of the watch I need to get triangulations on these dudes. <laughs> I do, I do. Need to get the triangulation. Okay, good. I can still get the triangulation. This just seems to be like a 3D thing. Alright, cool. Let's uh... Zoom out. Zoom out. Four hours. Zoom in. Okay, who are we looking at right now? EO2. Very well. Looks like we got ourselves a good triangulation here. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Can't use the mouse wheel, of course. Right there. Enter that, and then EO1. We can go ahead and refine you. You're just about in the same spot. And it's about as zoomed in as you can go. Cool. All right. We got our two things here. I'm not sure which one is which. I think I'm going to try and send. four tomahawks to each, maybe three. I'm not sure which is which. I'm thinking EO one's the SAM site, since it's not really near where the airport is. Airport. Uh, can I classify a land target here? Sort by, nope. Can't really say what a land target is. I could probably turn link on or something. I don't know. This is very odd. See, look, the sensor is still, like, up there. But not down here. That's weird. Does it have like two different rendering worlds above and below the water? That's interesting. I don't know. I'm confused as hell. <laughs> lower the Let's lower the that. The just about at the launch basket here. Just about ready to rock. And I'm going to go ahead and throw a harp, a clam in this tube as well. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's go ahead and throw one clam in here too. So my thinking is I think I'm going to launch... Four SAMs at the airport, because that has to get hit with four, and then three towards the SAM site. I'll launch the SAM site TLAMs first, so that none of the airport ones get compromised. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll be my plan, so I'll see you guys in the launch basket. Hey, <laughs> it's not there anymore. What the hell? All right, this game. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, rant time. So, basically, there's no reason why they shouldn't give you, like, precise 
very precise GPS coordinates for these things. These are very easily visible satellite imagery kind of places. Like they should be able to give you degrees, minutes, and seconds for latitude and longitude. You should be able to just punch that in and like get guaranteed hits all the time. Like this crap where you have to guess half the time is just like, Argh. all right, end rant. <laughs> Alrighty, we are in the launch basket, so let's go ahead and get to 150 feet. I'm just going to go to 100 feet. Make, make sure these T-LAMs launch zero properly feet. here. Bye just bye. let on like three knots, so we uh, don't really get too out of position here as we're setting up these missiles and all that stuff. So we're coming up here. Should be able to finish the mission in this episode. Sonar is very clear looking. That's good. I might stream a little bit more out. Just to uh, make sure that toad stays kind of low there. Let's go down to three knots. And turn this way. Yeah, we're shallow here. Shallow, shallow, shallow. I want to try and get these missiles off quick. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up these T-LAMs and meet you back in a sec. Alrighty, T-LAMs are all set up. Tubes are flooded. Air is charging. Destruct range is set. Um, yes, it is beyond our range to the target. Don't worry about that. The destruct range is set for about 30 nautical miles here. Just uh, just feels prim and proper, something nice to do. All right. Um, yeah, we got these bad boys out, ready to go. I got three headed for what I think is the SAM site and four for what heading for what I think is the airport because the airport is actually within the target coordinates and this is not. That's basically all I can go on at this point. I guess I could probably check out the link, maybe, but I don't know. I don't really think this is good. I'm going to save it before I do this, though. Let's go ahead and launch these missiles. Yes, I do not save your game in the middle of a Tomahawk land attack missile flight. It'll get all wonky and won't work, at least in dangerous waters. Maybe it will in sub-command, but we won't do it. We're going to launch these missiles, so let's uh, open these doors. All right, and let's start launching them. And I'm you want to make sure you have a pretty good spread on them so they don't blow each other up. Launch tube two, aye, sir. So I'm probably gonna wait like a good ten or fifteen seconds here. Well, that thing goes shooting out there. All right, let's go ahead and launch them. No, no, don't, uh, don't do that. <laughs> well, I can launch, launch this one in the meantime. Four. Aye, sir. Keep doing that. I don't know why. All right, yeah. Takes a little while to launch them all out here, but I want to make sure they don't frickin' uh, blow each other up here. So we got another missile out. Going. Let's launch this one. Launch tube three. Aye, sir. Then we should launch, be able to launch these guys much. Nah, it's still pretty close. I'm going to give it the same spacing for these ones here. Uh, get ready and launch. Launch tube five. Aye, sir. Another 15 seconds. Wait till. We have about 10 more seconds here. Give that boy a launch. Four, three, two, one, launch. Launch tube six. Aye, sir. And getting ready to launch the last two here. Let's take another few more seconds. Aye, sir. Alrighty, that is all of them. They're all out. The birds are flying. Let's close all these doors up here. And potentially reload them. I have a lot of plans in my stores. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All missiles are out. Oh, I just saw there's a SAM being launched right now. Coming this way. I'm going to go ahead and get these all to plan. One, two, three. 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 Get all the TLAMs reloaded in these bad boys here. Okay, maybe I don't have as many stored on the rack as I thought. But yeah, there's a... Okay, so I got that right that the sand is over there, but I'm not sure my triangulation is perfectly correct. Okay, that missile missed. But uh, we'll see if we get a, a hit here. It looks like it was off by a little bit, but these things have some pretty good splash damage here. So I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, SAMs are being launched. It's not even going for this missile at this point. <laughs> going for that one. It's going to get it. Oh, missed that one too. Very good. And you're all... Nice! Alright, Sam is down. One missile took it out, that's all we needed. Very good. <laughs> yeah, what are my stores, though? I thought I had more clams. So I do have clams on the store. Put it in. There you go. <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't loading them up, but there you go. So we got clams loaded up. I think they still have the same waypoints in case we need them, but I don't think we're going to need them here. 
Uh, let me, uh... Just make sure people aren't... Trying to see what's up with me here. Seems like we're pretty good. Bam! Pow! Yeah, I think I got these triangulations good. Thankfully, you're hitting, like, land targets, so it's not too hard to, like, uh... Hey, there you go. They're both destroyed. I only needed one missile. I'm gonna wait till all of them hit home, though. Let me just check the official mission status. Hey, all complete. Look at all that. Have not had such a, uh... Such a great success of a mission in a while here. That's nice to see. Bing, bow, poom, and bong. Hey, there you go. That was a good, solid mission there. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. And, uh... Not sure what the next mission is, but I don't think I ever really do, and I think that's kind of the charm of it. So, <laughs> see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Have a good week. And have a good weekend. See you guys then. Next week. Whatever. Bye. <laughs>